name is Tony Solo and I'm here sitting down. I want to talk to you guys about how do you last longer in bed? It is a question that you guys will have to you die. You'll have this question. And the simple thing to this is just understanding what is the base, what is the reason why I don't last long in bed? And getting, of course, always in life to the why will be the way you uproot your fears around this topic of lasting longer in bed. First of all, let me tell you this. It is a lot of pressure on you to last long in bed. It is an incredible amount of pressure for you to be able to go into the room and perform like a rock star. It's a lot of pressure on men to be able to do that because women are telling you that, oh, I want a man who's great at sex. I want a man who's amazing at this. And women are not understanding that for a man to be great at sex, he must have a lot of sex. Not a lot of sex with different women, but he must get used to having sex. Just in the same way that a woman wants a man to be confident right off the back, and it's a lot of pressure on a man to be confident right off the back, you have to get good, I'm talking about pickup, you have to get good at going out there and, and speaking to women on the street and speaking to them in all situations so you can be able to be comfortable enough to withstand it. So you got so being able to be a rock star or amazing lover, let's say amazing lover because rock star is just a, a connotation. To be able to be an amazing lover in bed, it requires that you have sex a lot. Take the pressure off yourself if you're a guy who don't have a lot of experience. That's the first thing you want to do. Take the pressure off of yourself because there's a lot of pressure on you to be an amazing lover when you, eat, when you don't even have a, a lot of experience. So if you're coming from a place where you don't have a lot of experience, don't expect to be an amazing lover right away because you're not going to be. You're not. I'm telling you that right now, flat, bold, and right to your face, you're not going to be an amazing lover right away. You will not. And accept that. Have grace about that. And understand that it is a process. And the process of going from a guy who's not that good at sex to a guy that's good, great at sex, and amazing in all kind of ways, he has to go through moments of what? Breaking through things he's, he's afraid of. Being able to stretch his boundaries. Being able to do the things that he wouldn't normally do. Being able to get women into his life who can teach him along the way about being tough, about now not slowing down, being able to pace with her, which I'm going to teach you in this video. You need women into your life who can teach you along the way, which that means that there will be your mentors. Just like you get mentors to pick up, you need mentors along the way, which means that women are going to step into your experience as you are having sex to help you along the way to become better. You're not just going to all of a sudden just be no sex and then really fucking good. That will never happen. And I can guarantee you that because I didn't start out like that. And nobody I know has started out like that. But I can give you some insight into where I was at and how I start to now, you know, how I start to become a great lover to now where I'm an amazing lover and I'm still learning. My journey to being a man who is a great lover was plagued with fucking coming too fast. That's what it was. It was just like coming too fast in the beginning. And oh, doesn't it feel embarrassing? Doesn't it feel so bad? Doesn't it feel like gut wrenching when you when you're there with the girl and you've just came too fast, and she's just sitting there like, oh boy, chose the wrong one, and you're just sitting there like, yep, I fucked this up. She'll never see me again. And I had that time so many times. I did, and of course, a lot of you guys who have been following me since the beginning, you know that I've started very very young. And from starting young, my experiences when I was younger, oh man, it was fucking brutal. It was. It was. I remember, if I can tell you some experiences right offhand, I remember there was a girl and um, her name was Shanice. And Shanice was a lovely girl. She was lovely. And I took her virginity. Well, I popped her cherry. That's what they call it. And as me and Shanice are having sex, I was a chronic come too faster. <laughs> a, chronic, a chronic coming too fast guy. And as I'm you know, coming fast each time, I noticed that she just starts to get an attitude about it. And she's getting an attitude about it. And one time she did this, which really hurt me. She, she did it. I was having sex with her. And I'm, as I'm having sex with her, I'm just going fast. I'm just going, 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 going. And I'm so young, so I don't really know. And I'm going and going. And then she goes, and then I'm going. And then after I come, she goes, She had like this little 
this pretty watch on. She did like that. And she just sat there like, <sighs> she was making these sounds and I was, and I felt so bad. I felt so fucking bad. I couldn't say anything. I just felt bad, man. I was like, fuck, I keep coming too quick. And these girls are not liking this. And you know, I'm just doing it for my own pleasure. And it was really stressing me out and I couldn't do anything about it. I felt that way. And I remember another experience I had, I was having sex with this girl. And as I'm having sex with her, I feel myself going to come. And I'm trying to hold it back. And I feel myself going to come. I'm trying to hold it back. And then I all of a sudden come. And I pull, out, I pull my dick out and I go, oh, man, fuck, the, the condom went dry. And I was like, oh, man, it went dry. And I'm just like, oh, sorry, the condom went dry. And like, I was blaming it on the condom. And I've done this since two years ago, like almost last year, too. Well, it was just like the thing of feeling embarrassed for coming too fast. Now, of course, two year, the last year, I was still being able to last long, but still the thing around coming too fast, I just felt so shameful about it. I felt like, oh my God, why am I coming so fast? Is there a problem with me? What is wrong with me that I'm ke I keep coming so fast? I mean, all these other guys are not coming fast, but what, what's wrong with me? Because everybody else was making it seem like they was, they was lasting. And I was just thinking to myself, like, what the fuck wrong with me? Until I started to understand that other guys are not lasting as long as they're saying. They're coming, to, coming fast as well. So through my, you know, coming too fast and coming too fast, I just really want to just get away from it. Oh, I was like, man, I don't want to do it. I don't want to just come so fast. I can see the responses of girls when I'm, when I'm having sex with them. I can see the response. What the response that they're giving me, it is not good. The fact that they're not, they're not giving me a good response, I don't want to feel whatever they're giving me. I, I like it, it felt so bad with the girl just giving me this face of like disgust or this face of why are you coming so fast? And I had to change something. So I started to do research. I had to because I wanted to just be a man that lasts longer in bed because that's the thing that's pressed onto a man. You must last long in bed if you want her to come. You must last long in bed if you want to be called a great lover because all the other lovers, they're very, very fast so you want to be the one that's being able to you know coast along and have a lot of control but the, what women or what people do not tell you is that it takes it takes you learning that you must learn how to not come fast you must learn where to put your focus because through your experiences you'll be doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it, and doing it to where you'll get desensitized to a certain level of arousal but what about when it hits other levels of arousal you still need to learn what to do when these other levels of arousal hit in. Now, and that's why I'm here to tell you about when I started to get insights into myself. So I was coming too fast and I started doing research. And in my research that I was doing, I came up on Tantric Secrets for Men. There's this book called Tantric Sex Secrets for Men, and it's by a couple. And as I'm reading this book, I start seeing like the flow of energy. And they start showing in the book like where the energy flows in the body and learn how to circulate the energy. And I'll tell you more about David Data as well. Learning how to circulate the energy and learning how to just, you know, be there and experience. And I was learning a lot of stuff. Mainly that book, I was trying to take the techniques away from, from sex, which wasn't, you know, that good as far as taking the techniques away. But what it started teaching me is that it started to show me that it was a together experience. And as it started to show me that it was a together experience, I, I learned that, okay, if this is a together experience, that means that I'm going to have to not put my focus just on me and my, my pleasure. I'm going to have to do something different with it. And then it started to open doors. And then I started reading, you know, David Data, as the David Data talks about being able to circle, circulate sexual energy in your body in this book, The Way of the Superior Lover. He talks about being able to circulate sexual energy in your body, which I'll show you later. And I, I, I started to get insights into this and I started using it because the thing about this is using it throughout. I start using it throughout the day. And as I'm using it throughout the day, I notice that I'm able to now be more uh, relaxed in my pelvic floor. And, you know, I got more relaxed over the years in my pelvic floor, but I started to learn to be relaxed in my pelvic floor. Because that's the thing that tenses up the most when you're having sex is your whole pelvic region. So I started to relax that more. During sex, I started to, you know, be my breath more in sex. And as I'm doing that, I noticed that I'm lasting longer. Oh my God, I'm lasting longer. So the fact that I'm doing this, of course I'm lasting longer, but still I'm not there with her. So I started to have to understand being there with her and lasting longer together, which was the hardest transition because you're already trying to last long and then you must focus on what the woman needs in the moment, moment to moment. And that's a very fucking hard thing to do. 
So I started going through that and going through that and going through that and training myself, really, just training myself over and over and over, just the breathing, just breathing doing sex, breathing doing sex. And I started noticing that I was lasting as long as I wanted to. And that's when the shit hit in. And guess who it was? It was a lover that stepped into my life. A woman stepped into my life in 2014, and we were together for three months, like three intense months, too. And she wound up loving me, and we were together, and it was super intense. The sexuality and everything was just amazing. And as we're together, we're experimenting with each other. Remember I told you, these mentors step along the way. Women teach you, or they side, to side, they side along with the experience of being experimental when you are. She was experimental with me. We're having sex. We're, we're trying new things. I tell her I want to try this thing. I want to try this thing. You know what? I want you to jack me off and I want you to peek me each time. So that means that when I get to the point of trying to um, going to come, I want you to squeeze two inches under my head so the cum can go back down. And we start doing all these, these things together. And from her, I would say I became a great lover after her. But when I, started become, when I became amazing love, which I am now, is when I started to understand that the experience needs to be beyond my boundaries each time. Am I willing to step beyond my boundaries verbally, physically, spiritually, emotionally each time I have sex? Am I willing to do that? Because that's the difference between a, good, a lover that's good, no, a great, and a lover that's amazing. Is that A great lover is somebody who's gotten the skill together and able to give a woman her needs. He's able to be there. He's able to you know, give what she wants moment to moment. But an amazing lover is willing to go outside of what he's used to in the moments that it demanded physically, emotionally, spiritually, uh, verbally. He's just able to do that. And the fact that he's able to do that moment to moment, you know, that allows him to be expansive. And as he's expansive in that, he starts to expand to think what he's used to. And that is what creates an amazing lover. So because he's able to do that as well as do the thing of a great lover, which is cater to the woman moment to moment. And I started to just bring all these things together that I learned, and I started to give women orgasms. Sometimes I did it, and amazing, the sex was still great. And I started to understand, you know, my boundaries, what my boundaries were verbally, because sometimes I, I was very quiet, so I started, you know, speaking more and then opening more and more and more and more. So now I know that when, when I'm having sex, if I don't speak, I'm actually cramping the experience. So I speak every time during sex. Everything through that, through the spiritual part, through the emotional part, and the physical part, I just allow myself to just uh, evolve in all of them. Just evolve. My strength, you know, a strength has a lot of thing to do with you being a, a, a great lover. I mean, amazing lover. I don't like saying great lover. An amazing lover. Your spirituality, of course, has something to do with that. Emotionally, of course. Being open to the experience. Being open moment to moment to the closure that wants to happen around your heart. There's many different things that, that sex, you know, brings up and allows you to dive into. So, for you guys, the things that I want to get into in this video is, uh, for you specifically, three things that I think that will help you that I know, not think, I know that will help you last longer in bed. Because they've helped me and they've helped people that I know of. The first thing. Put your focus on the experience that you're having, not just the sex. Let me say that again. Put your focus on the experience that you're having with the woman, not just the sex. If you are just focused on the sex or you're focused to get to the sex, you will be in a rush. You will be frantic inside. You will be very, very fast paced and you won't be with the moment. One of the things that I noticed that when I was starting out, I was just wanting to get my penis in her. I'm like, I want to get my penis in her now. Because as you know, and as I know, as men, once we get aroused, we want to fuck. And we want to fuck hard. Or we want to just put our penis in something and we want to come. Because our bliss is freedom, nothingness. Ah, oh, being there and being like, that was good. Ah, oh, and just relaxing. And the girl's like, I want more, and I want more, and I want more. And we're like, I need a time, I need, some, I need a break. And I think about the times where I was, that girl was just wanting more, and I was just like, oh, I need a break. 
You need to be with the experience moment to moment. As you're with the experience moment to moment, you're able to pace with the girl. You're able to see where she's at and what I need to deliver in this moment. You're able to be, you're able to enjoy the whole thing and not just the penetration of your penis in her. You're able to fuck her without fucking her. You're able to have the experience be, the entire experience be a fuck, not just fuck at the end or sex, whatever you want to call it. The entire experience is sex. Having sex with a woman's mind. Being able to get her into her heart. Being able to relax her. Fucking her through the whole experience. The penis penetration part is, yeah, what you would call literal fucking or literal sex, literal penetration. But what about the penetrative aspects of being there with her in the moment, looking her in the eyes and letting her know that you want her so bad, or looking her in the eyes and letting her know that you're mine, whatever it may be, or being able to just be there with her and, and, and whether, whether it's a very slow moment where you need to be slow with her, or it's a moment where it's passion, whatever it may be, you're noticing that you're not faster than the moment, you're with the moment. So take the experience from just sex is the thing to make the whole thing sex. Sex is everything when you're with the girl. From the moment you step into the fucking bedroom, sex is everything. It is. It's every single thing. You're fucking her mind. You're allowing yourself to get her into the moment. Your look fucks her mind. The way you talk fucks her mind. The way you move fucks her mind. Being able to do that is going to be a way that the experience turns different. Then as you're going, going along the way, you begin to fuck her with your energy. You pull her in close. She's not excited by you pulling her in close or you kissing her. She's excited by the energy behind the kiss or the pull in or whatever you do. She's excited by the energy. That is why you need to completely be with her moment to moment. That means you need to be pacing with her. As you're there with her, you kiss and you notice that you're kissing and you're trying to go all into it. No, no, no. Slow down because you can feel that her kissing is slower. So if you can feel that her kissing is slower, slow down. Pace with her. Because if you are faster than the moment, you will come very quickly. Listen to my words. They sink in your fucking soul. Pace with the woman. If you're learning to pace with her, be patient with her every step of the way. Whether that be you need to be patient with her and then it erupts into sexual bliss and sexual passion. Whether you're pacing with her and she wants to be fucked hard. Or whether she's just, the pacing with her is fucking her hard. Whether, whatever it may be, pace with the woman. Because as you're with her moment to moment, you can clearly be able to notice where you are. And as you're noticing where you are, the woman can feel that you're there with her. And that's what she's turned on by. She's turned on by the fact that you're there with her, moment to moment. That's why, you know, I've had times where I'm, I'm trying to go at it and the girl goes, slow down. And I go, okay, it's important for me to slow down. There's times where I'm slow and a girl wants me to go fast. And I'm like, all right, I need to step this up because I can see that she is doing this thing that she wants me to get into her. And she doesn't want me to just slow down. She wants me to take her. She wants me to fucking grab her. She wants me to choke her. She wants me to do something that's allowing me to bring my power into the situation. So that means I need to step up. Also, that's pacing with her. And how are you aware of this? How are you able to pace with the girl? How was I able to learn how to pace with the girl? Meditation. Number two, meditation. Being able to be there with the woman. And really be in your breath and be with her breath. Being able to notice every subtlety of the moment. Because the moment demands things at certain times. And as it demands things at certain times, you need to deliver at those times. 
But meditation itself, you need to learn it. You need to learn meditation. And this is meditation is so amazing because it's the number one thing I think anybody can learn to change your entire life. Learn meditation. It changes your whole fucking life. The way you see things, the way you see yourself, the way you see others, the way you see life. You're able to see the moment clearly. You're able to be in the moment clearly. Do meditation. Allow yourself to sit there and be aware. This is meditation on your own. And just become aware. This is very, very basic. Of your breath. And as you're aware of your breath, just do that throughout the day. Because learning how to last longer, the primary thing that's going to help you is you focusing on your breath. Being able to be with your breath allows you to slow down. Speed up. Slow down. Slow down and deepen. Slow down and deepen. Being with your breath. And one of the beautiful things about meditation is that as you do it, do it throughout the day, you do not have to turn it on when you get in the bedroom. Most guys, they're not doing it throughout the day. That's the reason why when they get to the bedroom, they fucking freak out because they're not doing it throughout the day. If you want to be able to be great at sex, start doing meditation throughout the day. As you're walking around, feel your feet hitting the floor. Feel the breeze on your skin. Feel the wind on your skin. Uh, feel everything around you. Really, really just be with your breath. Breathing. And let's say you're somebody that's like, fuck meditation, which if you're on my channel, you say fuck meditation. I prefer that you get off my channel. But if you're somebody who's just like, ah, oh, you know, I'm not really into meditation or this, this and this. What I would say do is. When you're going to go meet a girl, if you're going for a date. Or you're somebody who likes taking women home during the day or night. Before you meet the girl, start breathing. So be able, become aware of your breath. Start breathing because start, be, not start breathing, start becoming aware of your breath. Because it helps you when you get into that moment. Because now you can notice when it's speeding up and when it's slowing down. And when you get up in your head like, oh my God, it did come back to your breath. Because it's this thing here that stops men from being in the moment with women. It's just only this. That fucking stops us. It stops us. Meditation will save you. It will heal you. It will do so many things for you. There's no reason for you not to do meditation. It's really no reason. It's going to help you be a great lover. You like that? You like the fact that it's going to help you be in a moment and understand where you're going wrong. Why are you acting this way? And that brings me into the third thing. Because it connects to the second thing. The third thing is make sex a whole body experience, not a pelvic floor, not a pelvic area experience, not a pelvic experience. You're making this a pelvic experience every time you go into sex. Sex to you is only this. This is only sex to you. For some reason, this area is sex to you. Sex is everything. Sex literally is everything when you're with the woman. It's from the way you look at her. Eye fucking. It's from the smells. Mm. It's from the taste. Get in touch with your senses. Sex is the whole experience. It's not just when I put my dick in, that's not just sex. Sex is everything. Make it a whole body experience. Make it where you're moving your awareness throughout your body. And that's why I say do meditation because when you learn, what you learn from meditation, you're going to learn during, you're going to learn to incorporate during sex. You're going to be able to be there with the girl and breathing and be aware of your breath and aware of hers at the same time, which allows you to be centered in the moment. And as you're centered in the moment with the girl and you're aware of her breath and aware of yours, you're going to be able to better make it a whole body experience. So when you kiss her, put your awareness in your lips. 
Because if your awareness is just in your pelvic region, if it's in your cock, you only be thinking about, okay, I'm going to kiss her, but I really want to get to the sex. No. Enjoy. Put your awareness here and kiss. As you're putting your tongue in her mouth, put your awareness in your tongue. Start to become a sex machine. Literally start to become a sexual being. Everything about you. Not just a sexual, not just a man with a fucking cock. A sexual being, which means that everything about you is sexual. Everything about you screams sex. The face, the everything. On her as well. Enjoy the moment when she kisses you on the neck. Make the whole experience sex. If you just make it the pelvic to pelvic, uh, if you just make it pelvic to pelvic meaning sex, that means that the experience is only in one block. That means that in your mind, all your focus will be here. Literally, all your focus, well, basically all your awareness will be here. You need to learn how to shift and move your awareness throughout your body. This is one thing that really changed everything for me is just learning how to move the awareness throughout my body and just learning how to, okay, if I'm going to touch her clitoris, I'm going to put the awareness in my fingers. And I'm going to put the awareness in my fingers and be focused only on me doing this motion. If I know that I want to uh, lick her pussy, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to, put my, I'm going to put my awareness in my tongue. I know that if I want to penetrate her i know i'm going to put my awareness in my dick but at the same time i want to make it a whole body experience so as my as i'm penetrating a woman i'm not just going to be only focused on that thing i'm going to be focused on okay as i'm penetrating this woman i'm going to put my awareness also in my hand that's grabbing her breast or as i'm doing this i'm going to put my awareness on being able to uh, pull her by the hair and put my awareness in my hand in that moment anything that you're doing start to move your awareness throughout your body and stop just keeping it in your pelvic regions because it's a block there if you do that you put all your awareness there so that means that it's only this region that's the most turned on that's the most alive in that moment but make your whole self alive make your whole self a cock make your whole self a dick which means that you're allowing yourself to be able to give the woman the experience of real sex which is the whole experience and then we just talked about that before because you're not just going okay sex for me is just pelvic to pelvic. When we are doing that, that's just sex to me. When to the woman, she's like, mm, well, sex to me is you kissing me on the neck, you sucking my breast, you spanking my ass, you uh, kissing me down my body. That's all sex for me, but why is sex for you only this one thing? The reason why is because you just haven't been, you haven't been trained to understand that sex is not just that. Sex is more than just that. And any guy who really wants to be an amazing lover, he needs to understand these things because once you can start to move your awareness, you can start to have different experiences with a woman. Even if you put your awareness all the way in your cock, in that moment in the penetration, you want to feel that completely. But you want to allow yourself to spread it out and feel your bodies pressed against each other at the same time. Allow yourself to feel the moment where if you if you are pen, uh, if you are putting your dick in her and then you're also looking at her, feel that that moment together. You don't want to make it a separate moment. Feel it all together. So be a person that's aware of everything that he's doing. When you spank her, put your awareness in your hand. And the spank is different. And a lot of times you're off in any moment because only only because your awareness is not in the thing that you're doing. Because if your awareness is in the thing that you're doing, you will notice the subtleties of what's good and what's bad. If you are touching her clitoris, you will know the subtleties of what makes her turned on and what's not making her turned on. If you're kissing her anywhere on her body or her neck or whatever, and you can hear what's going on at the same time, be aware of, okay, does she like this? Is, does the kiss need to be deeper in this part? Does it need to be lighter? That'll let you know, okay, this is what the girl wants this is how her body is because something you must know is that a woman's body is very different from the next woman's body and all the three billion other women on earth they all have different ways that they like things and you just learning the woman's body is going to require you having awareness about what is it that this woman specifically likes what is it that this woman likes and you must take care in the fact that this experience is together and, in, and if you're a guy who really, really comes quick and that's a real, like a really big fucking issue for you, what I would say is take all the attention off yourself and put it on the woman. Put all your attention to what is it that this woman needs moment to moment. 
And that's everything from when I thrust deep, does she pull me in close or does she push me away? Does she go, or does she go, oh, or she opens more? That gives you a lot about what you need to do. When I spank her, do she respond or does she not respond? Because some guys just start spanking and the girl's not responding at all. And she's feeling like, okay, he's not taking care of me in this moment. He's just doing this thing that's just all me. Oh, yeah, you like that, but that's all you. When you can do something and a woman responds to it and you can feel that response, not just see it, but feel that response of like how energetically she, she's moved by that. That lets you know, okay, this is the moment that she, this is what she needs in this moment to be able to open more. Because the experience is always, okay, how can I do, how can I cater to this woman in a way where she can open more? That is always the objective when you're with a woman is how, what can I do to allow her to open more to this experience? And if that's your focus, that in itself will take it off you coming quickly. Because a lot of times you come so quickly because you are too, too worried on your, you're too focused on your experience, on your own experience, on your own performance. You're like, oh, I hope I perform well. Because if I don't perform well, that means that I'm, you know, I'm bad. That means that the girl, you know, she won't like me. That means that, you know, I really am a terrible lover. Whatever the, the reasons you have, that comes to fruition. But being able to take your focus off your own performance and putting it on what is it that this girl needs to be able to open more and allow your focus to be on that, the experience shifts. Now it's not me, me, me. It's her for now. And then as time goes along, you get better being able to cater to her and being more in yourself. It becomes us. And don't expect that just because you're getting this information and you're getting information out there, that if you ha don't have a lot of experience, that you're going to go on and go out there and you're going to be amazing with the first girl. Now, you could be her first amazing lover, her first amazing lover. But to be an actual amazing lover for girls who have experience is going to require you being able to do this over and over and over. And finding lovers who you can practice this with, being able to find women who you can go into something with, whether it be open, whether it be... Uh, a girlfriend, if you if that's what you want at this point, where well, you can be start to learn. You need to start to learn what it means to be an amazing lover for yourself. Where are the boundaries for you and being able to step outside those boundaries so you can be able to become an even more uh, better lover. And that's always going to be a thing. How far are you willing to go beyond your boundaries? That's going to be the, to the extent that you're going to be a great lover or amazing lover. If you can take these three tips and go out there and start to just incorporate this into your life, you will notice a massive difference in you lasting longer in bed. Because these are things I started to notice for myself. That's why I'm giving it out to you. So if we have to recap it, the first thing is, uh, <clears throat> don't know right now. <laughs> what was the first thing? I forgot. Put your focus on the girl. What's happening? Put your focus on the experience. I know. What was the first thing? Was put your focus on the experience. Oh yes, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's too long. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it. <laughs> just close the door. Yeah. All right. So if I had to recap the three things in this video that I want you guys to take away, again, the first one is put your focus on the experience that you're having with the girl. Pace with her. Don't be faster than the moment. Be with the moment. And as you're with the moment, you'll notice that there's a shift. The second thing is you being able to be with your breath. Meditate. Meditate throughout the day. Start to incorporate meditation into your life so it's a difference for you. And you'll notice that it's a dramatic difference uh, when you're in bedroom with, with women. Uh, meditation alone will help you with that. And then the third thing is being able to be with the woman 
and make the experience a full experience of sex, a whole body experience of sex for you and her. Look at her whole body as something you want to indulge in. Allow yourself to be something she wants to indulge in. It's not just your dick, she wants all of you. And you should want all of her as well. Take these three things and I want you guys to go out there and I want you to start to be better lovers than you are in this moment. A lot of times you're not a good lover just because you haven't been trained so it's not your fault. So take these things that you've learned and I hope that uh, you, make the, you make the next woman and women, the next women out there proud. This is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles and thank you guys for tuning in to me mix up video of the week. Until next time, I see you.